How to discover Teams in Microsoft Teams. I'm Paul Keizers and help businesses with Microsoft Teams, SharePoint and Copilot for a living. That is why you can be sure that after watching this video, you will know everything you need to know how to discover Teams in Microsoft Teams. So let's jump into it. I have here my Microsoft Teams environment and uh, basically what we are going to do is this function, discover. When I click on this, there are no suggestions at this moment and it's logical because it's not set up yet. I'm going to show this by doing this, uh, create a new team. So I'm going to create a new team. In this case, I'm going to call it Debbie Discover and uh, it's going to be private and I'm going to create it. Now, at this moment, it's created. I'm going to uh, add some people to it, just members. I'm going to add it. All right, that's perfect. So now we have our team and it's working. We have it over here. But uh, for instance, now I'm Debbie. So I click on discover teams and I do not see any of the teams. I can go to the, the plus sign and uh, join team. Well, I see some public teams, but I still do not see the uh, private team I just created. So why is this? And why do I not see anything when something is uh, on discover, when I click on discover? For that, we need to go to the admin center. By the way, if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. If you need any help, then click below on the link to create appointment with me. So here we are in the Teams Admin Center. I'm going to Teams, I'm going to uh, Teams Policies, I'm going to the global one. And what we see here is Discover Private Teams is off by default. So I'm going to change this and set this on on and I'm going to click on apply and confirm. Now this could take a while so I don't want to wait too long. So now we are back and what we can do is we can click on the plus sign and then click on join team. Now you may remember that we called the team Debbie Discover but it's not here. But what is happening if I type Debbie, for example, and this needs to be at minimum three letters, then I can join the team. So I'm going to join it. The request is set. And now I'm going to the poll variant. And here we go. So I have a new request. Debbie wants to join the private team. So I can accept it. After that, she is accepted. She will have the member stage. So let's take a look at Debbie Discover, which is here and manage team and here we see that there are two new members so now she has the rights and everything if we uh, look at this we may want not all teams to be discoverable if they are private especially if you are in a big company and they do lots of investments that are need to be hidden till they are public then you don't want this functionality how can you overcome this well, there is a way to overcome this. I haven't set it up yet here, but you could use sensitivity labels. If you have sensitivity labels, you can set them up that only specific people can view this uh, team. So they can view, discover the private teams. So this is the way you can set it up. I think this is a good add on, on it. So this is the way how you can discover private teams in Microsoft Teams. If you want to view more about Microsoft Teams, for example, most made mistake in Microsoft Teams, you can view it over here and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.